And now to a story sparking outrage after neighbors found a cat mutilated and bleeding on Cleveland's west side. The little guy's ear mangled in what veterinarians are calling a clear sign of abuse. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Andrew Horansky. And I'm Betsy Kling. Russ and Sarah are off tonight. Tiffany Tarpley has been following this and joins us now with a look at how the cat is doing. And Tiffany, I assume there's plenty of work going on to find out who did this. Of course, uh, Betsy and Drew. Tonight, the Cleveland APL is urging anyone with information, any witnesses, to call them as they try to figure this out. It's believed the cat's ears were cut with scissors or shears. And now veterinary staff are working to make sure he fully recovers. He don't feel good. This is Sergeant wrapped in his camouflage fleece blanket. Able Animal Hospital's Deborah Bartowick named him. I said, you know, he's a tough little guy. Ears bandaged, scared, in pain. Who would do something like this? A monster. I mean, so somebody totally heartless. If you're cutting through cartilage and all those nerves and everything, it's excruciating. Deborah says she received a call late Thursday night that a mutilated cat was found in the area of West 105th and Western in Cleveland, a neighborhood that's had animal cruelty issues in the past. Some of the volunteers were going down there helping, keeping a lookout, and they came across some kids swinging a kitten in a bag and chucked it into the dumpster. I think it's very evil. Michelle Hiller lives in the area. We showed her these pictures of Sargent's injuries. She's not surprised. Because my dog got shot um, like a few years back and we had to end up putting her down. So now she keeps a close eye on her dog, Lasita. Because people are mean. Yeah, cruel. As for Sergeant, I know, baby boy. He had surgery to remove both ears and is on pain medication. Deborah is asking if you see something, say something. Speak up. This way it's not animal after animal after animal because eventually it doesn't end with animals, it goes to people. And so Able Animal Hospital expects four to six weeks for recovery for Sargent so he can heal both physically and mentally. And Drew, the Cleveland APL says mm. that uh, the person who did this could face animal cruelty charges. The issue though is, will they be able to be able to ever find out exactly who did this? Poor little kitty, let's yeah. hope someone speaks up, Tiffany, thank you.